So it's felt by many that you went out of the show probably earlier than was fair. Is it good to, to get the chance to come back, do the tour and get dancing again? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I missed James terribly when when uh, when we went out. And um, so it was really strange going from seeing each other every single day and training every single day to just suddenly nothing. So once we started training back in January for the tour, it was great. It was nice to be back. Cause you two did get on really well. You seem to have a good, good friendship. Yeah, I mean, we had a great friendship. Um, not only... Did we work together as a dancing partnership? We just had a laugh, didn't yeah. we, really, and enjoyed it. And that's what the show's about, to yeah, be honest definitely. with you. Um, and Zoe, you said that you've never been a massive fan of dancing, or at least you weren't ever the first one on the dance floor in the past. Never. So how, how quickly did you say yes to it, Strictly? It took me a few years, to be honest. And I think, yeah, this year, for some reason, I decided that this was the year I was going to do it. And But I'm so glad I did, because it, yes. it affects you in so many ways, in terms of you know your self-confidence. And, and uh, you know, there's just so many different things that I've, I've definitely benefited from as a result of doing that show, definitely. Meeting me. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And I think people were kind of surprised by your nerves because obviously you, you played Tanya, the sort sure. of really ballsy character in Footballers' Wives. And but So dancing was kind of more nerve-wracking for you than maybe acting? Absolutely. And also I think the, 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 the difference, the main difference is that, you know, you're not in character. So, you know, you're out there as yourself doing something yeah. that isn't what you do you are completely out of your comfort zone and so as a result of that you know it's it's terrifying yeah do you find the tour easier than the live sh tv shows um i do now um i'm starting to get less nervous before we go out now i'm starting to really enjoy it now um at first it was it, it was petrifying because obviously you know these huge audiences um but the live show was particularly scary yeah, yeah you were much was, worse oh. on the live show i've never ever seen anyone on the last four series that I've done of Strictly as nervous as Zoe. No, it was horrid. That's the yeah. truth. Never seen anyone that nervous. And you did say in one of the interviews, I think it was on It Takes Two, that, that Zoe is, is probably the, the hardest to kind of teach in terms of rem remembering routines and such. Is that true? No, that's just my banter. I just like winding her up. She was actually, you know, you didn't pick up steps it's that, learning the steps, that fast it? at the beginning. But yeah. once she had them in her muscle memory, then, then she could start performing it. But, she, you know, I just used to say, oh, you're so slow. And then it used to push her a bit harder. Because yeah. you always did brilliant on the shows. You never had sort of... Any major sort of memory problems or anything with the, no, with the dance on the night? I have a well, problem with memory, no, do I? Pass doble. Well, yeah, I mean, every, oh. no, but that's nerves. <laughs> but I mean, once, once I've learnt the steps, normally that's fine. It takes me quite a long time to learn them. But, yeah. but in terms of remembering things once they're in, it's, I don't have. That seems to be fine, doesn't it? Um, and then every now and again, you know, you go out there and nerves. I mean, saying that every single night I go out there and something happens, doesn't it? Yeah, Even now, that's normal. And Even that's as nerves. pros, you yeah. know. But we just hide it a lot better yeah. than the yeah. celebrities do. Yeah. And do you have a lot of fun on the tour? Is it quite, I guess you get a chance to spend more time with the other contestants than you do on the TV series. Oh yeah, a lot more time. Um, I mean, obviously everyone t on tour is really, really nice, apart from really, I would say, Austin Healy, yeah. who's just, yeah. not, just not a very nice person at all. I have heard this. Yeah, um, you know, he, he's just all about himself. He's very competitive. All he wants to do is win. Every single arena he goes to, he says it's his hometown and he used to bike ride <laughs> past there to get to school. And I just, think, I just think he's not a very nice person. <laughs> so he's always trying to get on side with the locals. Exactly. I, I know this city very well. Um, and James, uh, apparently in an interview you said that you're one of the most competitive um, dancers in Street League, even more so than Brendan Cole. Oh, no comparison. And, and yet when it comes to Ola, you, you're very different. Like You support her more than yourself, apparently. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, when Ola won Strictly, as much as I would like to win Strictly, um, I would always, if someone said to me, either you or Ola, I would give it to Ola. Um, but now she has won it, um, I regret saying that because every night before we go to bed, the glitter ball's on her bedside cabinet oh, no. and she says, have you got one of these? Oh, no. So I'm going to get that for the next so, year, I think. So do you, do you feel the same on the tour or are you, is, it, tour? is it totally different? Um, on tour, it's very different. I mean, you know, for me, genuinely, it would be lovely if every single celebrity could win once yeah. on tour. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be nice for everyone to win once. Um, but the tour, you know, I mean, Austin thinks it's really important because obviously he wasn't popular and good on the live show. So this means a lot to him. Um, but with everyone else, I just think it's, you know, it's just nice to come out and perform in front of a, a live audience yeah. so large as this. Definitely. Yeah. And so, finally, um, what's the dance that you, you enjoy performing the most? Which, which is the one that people coming down to the show can look forward to most? Which one do you like? The waltz. I love the waltz. Yeah. Excellent. See, yeah. I like the rumba because I get to put my hands all over your body. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's Cheeky. lovely. 
Um, no, <laughs> it's good job your wife's not around. Yeah. And actually, joking aside, I know because you know we we have a lot of banter with Austin, but their tango is superb. Yeah, no, really? absolutely yeah. amazing. It's a showstopper. Yeah. So yeah, I think people there's a lot for people to look forward to when they come down. It's a really great show. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Well, no. good luck tonight and the rest of the tour. Thanks for talking Thank to you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. So how confident are you feeling about um, the Nottingham shows? Because apparently you kind of equal, you've, you've won equal numbers as Mark Ramprakash so far. Mm, no, we've now won two more than Mark Ramprakash, I think. Are you yes. keeping count, are yes, you? Yes, I am keeping count. Um, no, it's been fantastic, you know, and um, to be honest with you, I think if it was up to me, I'd like everybody to win one because tour is such fun and it's not as stressful as Strictly Come Dancing itself. And um, it would be nice for everybody to win, but um, obviously, you know, audience are the ones to decide who they like and... Yeah. Um, it's up to them, really. James Jordan was saying the same, actually, that it would be nice if kind of everyone shared it. I was surprised, because he's quite competitive. Yeah, I'd like everyone to win one bar James, I think. I'd like, <laughs> like, I like, I like Zoe to win, but they have to like make a distinctive point that it's Zoe that's won and not James, and I think that would be the, the fairest result. What's going on between you two? James just spent the, the whole time in the last interview saying that you, you, know, you shouldn't be winning, etc. Well, There's some hatred going on. No, the problem is James is on the waiting list to have his eyes lasered, so he can't actually see the dancers, so it's very difficult for him to pass, you know, uh, constructive comment. But, uh, yeah, no, we're just having a bit of banter, really. Yeah, yeah. So what, what do you think is more competitive, the, the tour or the, the TV series? Uh, the two are totally different. Um, the TV series is very stressful and uh, you just concentrate about the two of you and, you know, you just spend the whole life, pra uh, the whole time practicing and... Yeah. Whereas here you have much more time to yourself because it's the same show, so you don't have to prepare new dancers. It's the same dancers every night, um, which sort of leaves you more time to have fun and enjoy it, really. Well, I think Lilia loves the tour so much because you basically dance at night and in the day she gets the whole day to go shopping. So she goes out and gets shoes, handbags, coats and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect environment for any dancer. Yeah. Have you had a chance to check out Nottingham yet? Have you been into the city? Uh, not yet. In previous years we have, yeah, because we've only just arrived today, so um, I'm sure there's still yeah. time. Flannels. Yeah. Flannels is pretty good. There's Paul Smith there. That's there's it. various other shops yeah, that you know, my, you know, yeah, well, you know my the wife city. basically frequents those shops and she's got, you know, cards for those shops and then I just pay the bills, Excellent. which is great. <laughs> Um, and Austin, apart from the Christmas special, have you done any dancing throughout the year? Have you done any practicing? Uh, I've danced, uh, I think, three or four times during the year. Three times with Erin and once with Camilla. So, uh, what was that for? Uh, just for corporate events and parties and stuff. Um, one of them was a big party at uh, a big hotel in London, which was enormous. Callie Minogue played after us, which was phenomenal. Really? Yeah. I bet that's the only reason you went, isn't it? No, no, yeah, no, no, no. And Lily, you went out in the second week this year, um, which is a shame. Yeah, sorry to remind you. Um, does, does that leave you more time to prepare for the tour? Uh, no, because we all get equal time to get ready. And Austin and I have only had a couple of training sessions because he, he was really busy and, um, you know, I was busy. And they, we don't really get paired up till right till... December is it yeah, or something December. like that so they, they gave me two other partners before Lilia and I said I'm not doing the tour and then they said okay well you can have all I said no, no I'm not doing it and they said well you can have Lilia okay I'll do the tour <laughs> so finally what's the best dance that you're doing on this tour well, what's the one that people can most look forward to I think tango. the tango I think people yeah. most look forward to it's been I love uh, it. it's really good it's really it actually feels really good dancing that dance you know as, as, as much as you enjoy dancing with celebrities you know sometimes Don't call it's, me a celebrity. it's kind of you know these people. Uh, sometimes, is, sometimes that what, is that a favourite dance for you ordinarily or just because, or particularly uh, with Austin? Yes, with Austin, yeah. It's, yeah. it's brilliant. Excellent. Well, people can look forward to that then. Good luck with the rest of the tour. Sounds like it's going very well. Thanks for talking to us today. Thanks Thank very you. much. <laughs>